Hey everyone, Johnny Trek here, and we're back with Lords and Villains. So, there's a few things I need to get done today uh, in this episode. One being, I'll uh, need to get kind of ready for the royal tax. So every fall, I believe, um, we're going to get a request from his royal majesty uh, <laughs> to send supplies. Um, we haven't had, we, again, we don't have anything right now because, well... It was so in summer, but we should get it. I think like early fall, if I if I remember correctly. So uh, the one thing, and I think they added this in the expansion, because um, I don't remember this in in the pre like regular game. In order to send stuff, you now need to build a special kind of uh, uh, storage. You need this loading site. So essentially, what you do is you put the loading site down, and whenever you send something out. It gets put inside here, and one of your servants takes it and goes deliver delivers it to the kingdom, and there you go. So, um, I don't know if we might be able to get to it in this episode to kind of see what it looks like. But, essentially, he request whatever. Mainly, he's going to just request uh, resource value. So, he'll say, I want for gold. So, you can send the gold itself if you wanted to, or you send enough resources that equals to four gold so you no know, for example anyways so yeah we got that um i think we have the dirt paths being built yes uh how are we doing food so we do have some good meals so they should be good there uh what let's take a quick look what is what are our servants up to okay they're not doing anything crazy uh do we have anything being sold right now i don't think so um Okay, yeah, not, nothing... Okay, so we're good there. So yeah, we're just kind of waiting for them to do this. It might be Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday, so people might not be doing crazy. Might not be doing anything crazy today. Okay, we'd like to get this public area done. Um, I'm actually even thinking about maybe moving this down here next to the... Uh, to the inn. I think that'd be kind of cool. I wish I may want to change the inn around a little bit. Uh, the problem with the inn is that... We don't have a lot of room. Um, and actually, to deal with that, what I might do for the time being, um, I might go ahead and just get rid of two of these for the, for now. So, and then let's go ahead and we will expand these, expand the rooms. Um, we do one more, so space, bed, wall. So, bed, bed, space, bed, 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 space, bed, bed, wall. Something like that. I think that would look good. And then we can put a door. Uh, let's put a door, like, say, right here. Fantastic. Okay. And then we will... Oh, it's actually almost pretty much the whole area. I forgot how big I made this. We'll just expand that out there like that. Um, perfect. And then, of course, we will do a dirt path over this. So. Cool. And so our farm is looking good. I like it. Uh, I think... I think... I don't know if I should expand into the forested area or not. It might not be a bad idea. But we are kind of limited to this... To the land right here, so... I'm also thinking about changing these gates around so they're not right up against the field. You know, kind of giving like a little buffer zone, but... Uh, I don't know. I guess it's fine for now. Okay. No, well, let's go ahead and keep going. Alright. Uh, go ahead and go faster. Let's see, and how is everyone's homes looking in terms of roofs? Okay. So you have a roof. You're almost done with the roof. I want to make sure that people have roofs, especially when it starts getting colder. So, okay. Uh, let's take a look at the map. So, let's see. Uh, here's the main kingdom. Uh, we probably want to try to get a... Try to go over here to the Um uh, Maybe I start making a, like, a little path this way. So, in this area, we... we <laughs> 
I, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing that we're kind of just stuck here around all this like emptiness. Um, we do have this hill. So what we could do is, you know, once we get some more people in, we can maybe try getting some more beer going in. Um, I mean, we also have this. So if we get a rope maker, we can maybe start getting rope. Um, I feel like rope is kind of hard to come by. Especially with uh, caravanners. Sometimes they don't even have rope. Okay, well, you have rope. Um, you don't have any war rope. No, you do have rope. There it is. Oh, never mind. In one of my other playthroughs, like my personal ones, I swear none of the caravans would carry rope. It was ridiculous. It's like I needed rope and they just never, no one ever sold it. So. I also might need to expand like the actual farm itself. After like playing on my personal games, um, I did come kind of make a few like new templates. So of course we have the straw home, um, kind of something basic, nothing crazy. Uh, then a straw house too, which is not as advanced. It's just kind of more of a one room home, kind of like this is, but it is bigger, more roomier. So I might look at needing to do that at some point. Uh, this was the original home I made. So uh, essentially if I just pop it down, it's a house, like a wooden house with a bunch of beds inside it. I don't think I really needed anything that big, so anyways, we'll just get rid of all that. And then... Oh yeah, and this was essentially just a smaller version of that same thing, so... Um... Reach the blueprints? What do you... Okay, there we go. Alright. And so, of course, we do have our forest they wow okay i might need to expand the zone a little bit for you guys we'll go over here and maybe go up this way fantastic uh let's take a look at the priorities the other thing too i need to look at doing um i think the problem is since they're a small family it's not as much they can get done uh but the priorities i want to actually uh, change this so I'm going to pop you up to 25% for taxes. Um, I'm actually going to do that with a few of these ones. So, uh, I'm going to set you up to 25%. So I don't really know what the best way to tax people is. Or like the best way to make money yet. Um, I've tried to look it up, but unfortunately there is... Not a lot of information, I feel like, in terms of trying to... Oh, I just did this one. Yeah. Uh, like, like, what is a good way to do this? Like, what's a good way to tax this kind of stuff? And I'm not quite sure, like, what is the best way? So if you have any suggestions, I'd be lo I'd love to hear it. Oh, we have another farmer? Farmers? You have more farmers. I don't even... Okay. I guess I need to go take a look at those. Oh, yeah, I think they're, like, below us. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Um, that's right, I put them right here. This is what I'm actually going to do with these people. Uh, this is actually what I want to do. I'm going to erase th this. Erase you. Yes. Um, edit zone. I'm actually just going to do one giant zone like this. It just kind of, kind of makes things a little easier to manage. Uh, so we're going to do melon, melon, no, melon, cabbage, corn, and then I think what what is this this is barley okay so then we will make sure we stick with barley on this um now here's the thing i i would like to try out so we go into the sign family and we look at how we can do taxes so the suckage is essentially they will pay taxes on their uh resources on the produced resources but if we do, say, Sturity, we pay them, and they give us 100% of the production. And I don't know what is fair. Like, what, what is fair with this? Like, if we look at the inventory, I mean, they have two, two gold. Um, and I don't know, yeah, and I, I don't know if there's a way to check per family. Can I, oh, okay, here we go. So we look at you, um, seasonal. Let's do table. We'll look at uh, amount taxed and amount owed. Uh, and 
first amount. Okay. Let's see, is amount paid? No. Generated supply? Is there a way to find out? Oh, here we go. Amount sold? Okay, they haven't even sold any. Oh, I mean, it makes sense. They really, they're new. Let's take a look at you guys then. Um, so you sold out potatoes, carrots, revenue from cereals. Here we go. That's what I was trying to find. So let's get rid of you. So you sold um, seasonal in the summer. What about the spring? I wish there was like a, a total. Okay, well, we won't use the spring. Let's look at the summer so far. So 20, 50, uh, let's say 75. So it almost seems like they made almost a goal. So that's, let's say 75, 80 ish, 85, 90. So they made almost a gold in sales last, so far actually. Sorry, this is so far. Okay. Um, of course, we can look at individual. All zones. I wish there was, I wish this would say total. And this there is... Um, salary received. Nope. Okay. So maybe it would make sense if we do... I want to try this. I want to try this. The sturdy. See how that works. Uh, and then let's do like, say, 60 silver. Let's try that. So we get 100% of what they make. Um, so we'll see how that works out. I'm also going to do some bit pathing around here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Like this. Uh, one that prevents like stuff from going in between as well, so. I might actually do this as well. This is why I was thinking about like, Maybe expanding some of this out? I don't know. Like for the gates. Um. No, nah, we'll cancel this. Uh, cancel blueprints. Boom. Okay, we'll just do that then. Okay, so this is almost done. And then we can start putting beds inside here. Uh, the biggest thing is, right now, I think you guys need... Oh, this is straw. Those are straw homes. Um, roofs. Not wood. Roofs. I thought they were wood. Okay. So I'm kind of curious to see how this works out. I mean, we have plenty of food. That's the thing. Um, so I just... I would like to see how, how what happens here. Um, oh yeah, the carpentry I put right next to it. I might change some of these things around. I'm like... I don't know. I'm not, like, too happy with how all this is this set up. I might also change the warehouse around a little bit, too. Um, so it's not, like, right in the middle of the square. I can almost be debating just putting it right here instead. Um, but I want to wait till we get all these paths done for everybody. What are you up to? Where are you going? Oh, you're putting things away. That's fine. Oh, yeah, we need to also do this. You can go ahead and fill that out. Oh, yeah, and you know what? I was one other thing I completely forgot. Oh, no, we do have a barracks. Never mind. I was like, I don't know if we have a barracks. We do. And I put the training dummies inside it. Good job, John. Good job. Okay. Uh, so we still need to get these done. Uh, 12 wood. How much wood do you guys have? I don't think you have a lot of wood. Yeah. Um, I might... Let's change the priority back down to wood. Yeah. Just focus on getting wood for us. Because that's the biggest thing we need. I'm also gonna do this. Uh, edit zone. We're gonna we're gonna come down to right here. I'm gonna move some of this stuff. 
Uh, I got all to uh, do, do, do furniture. You know what? Go to you, and I'm going to fill these out because I want to get rid of these. I want to put them all, like all the storage, in this one area. Okay, cool, fantastic. Uh, cancel blueprints. I'm going to cancel these for the time being because I'm going to be moving the warehouse and kind of getting organized. Bit of a bit, bit of a mess right now. How are we doing down here? Looking good. Uh, let's actually edit the zone. We'll, we'll edit it like this. And forces them to uh, pave the way instead. Might do the same with you guys. It makes you have to uh, fill all of this out. Okay, cool. What right, I like that. Nope. If anything, it gives uh, my people a little time to breathe. I wish he fixed this. I need to turn these around. It's kind of embarrassing. So we're going to cancel the blueprints on those two. Cool. Uh, where are the Denison's guy people at? What are they, what are they doing? Uh, do do do. If I can find, if I can click the right buttons, that would work. So you're here, and you're both here. What do you got? Okay. You're working on the forest. Fantastic. It's like, I don't know what you guys are up to. You're just kind of sitting around. But that's fine. That's fine. You're, I was mistaken. You actually were working. Ah. So we have people who came in to help mine. So let's take a look. Um... Oh, we could put them here. If we put them here, we can get iron ore. And eventually make iron out of it. Let's do that. We, we'll buy the land. And... Now, this is one thing... I, okay. Some people may not like this. And... I, I Let me know if you don't. The way I see it is that... Okay, hey, let, me, let me show you what I'm going to do first. Is I'm going to make a household. Just, just load a household right here. And we are going to put a chest inside it. So, we're going to do this. And I'm going to say yes to you guys. So, go ahead. And, um, then we're going to assign you this home. And boom. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait till they get this chest all done. Oh, I guess the gadgets are right there. Um, actually, I should sell planks. Anyway, so what I was thinking is, uh, since I'm going to give them land, in exchange for giving them land, I take essentially the money, uh, because as far as I know, as far as I know, if I don't think there's any like happiness system. Uh, once you send a family off to work a land, like you give them a land, and that's pretty much all you hear from them ever again. I don't think there's a way to recall them. There's no way to interact with them. Um, you okay? You remove the family and return it to your land, but I don't know what happens to the people after you do. So, uh, so this is what I was kind of doing in my other map, my other game. I was just seizing the money and essentially taking it in exchange for giving them land to work on. So, let me know if you like it or not, if you think it's a good idea. If it's something you don't want me to do, I won't do it. But, well, I'm just kind of showing you what I was doing, because in a way, kind of makes sense. You're taking, them, you're taking them money in exchange for giving them land that they can go, like, they can go build on. They can make, like, little, in a sense, like, a little settlement they can start working on. So, that was what I was thinking. Anyway, so we like do this. I don't really bother bother with the copper because it, it's it's copper. Anyway, so we're gonna take this resources at some point. Here we go. And then they're gonna get really angry, like really angry. So if we go back to them, you're gonna see like they hate us because we pretty much just took all the money. So 
immediately what I do is once I take the money, I take them, I send them off. With this one, I think we actually might have broke even. Like, how much is the buying land? Yeah, I actually think we made, I think we made money. <laughs> Oops. It's okay, it's okay. You know, is it gonna play, we're gonna send them, you know, go give, go make us iron, cause that's it. Yeah. Cause I don't think that's like, that's the last time we ever see them. We also get this, uh, this message that, um, the resistance has been dismantled. <laughs> they don't like us when we do that. So, anyways, uh, they're gonna go, generally, once they wake up, they'll grab their stuff and head out, so. Um... Okay. I'm curious. Do I get the wheat or do I get the um uh wow? Wow, I got they right now. So do I get the wheat from them? Like do I get the barley from them? Or do I get the hay from them and the grain? Like I don't know how this works. Do they process this stuff before I get it? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a little bit. Okay, you know what, I am going to... Actually, I might do it. I'm going to, once I move the warehouse over, I'm going to move these maybe further down. Yeah, I think about maybe... Actually, maybe, maybe even moving the warehouse like right here instead. Oh, they just left their food here. Okay, well, I, mean, I guess that works. Okay, well, what we're going to do then is... Uh, get rid of you. And then we're going to uh, erase the zone. How many days do we have? We have three days, essentially, until fall hits. Hopefully we have, I assume we will have enough food. It's like, if you look in here, oh, they got a good chunk of food inside here. Um, they're still growing stuff too, so. Okay, so they're harvesting. I don't see any barley inside our inventory yet, so I'm not sure. Ooh, foresters. I'm not sure how this is going to work yet. I might actually say yes to these guys. Only a family of three, but I could use, like, some more wood. Um, maybe I'll have you guys... Work on that area? Do we have anything down here? Ooh, maybe I'll have you work here instead. Okay, yeah. Let's see that. I want to destroy house number two. Um, there's a family of only three, so what we're going to do is erase blueprints. Actually, not erase blueprints. We're just going to just click on it. Uh, let's see. Cancel. Cancel. Cancel you. Cancel you. Call it good. And then... Assign this. Select family. How uh, to do you zone? Yeah. Bloop. And then we're gonna go to zones. Uh, peasants, royal forest, and we'll just we'll do this. We'll give you like all of this land right here to work with. Yeah, give you a small barrel for the food that you're going to get out of it, and then we'll do like four by two, and then one saw horse, and put it right here, and then assign you to these people, and then I'm actually going to do this one, and then we'll give you say fifty silver instead. Anything? I don't know how this is going to work. Like, they're just about done harvesting all this stuff. Jeez, how much, how much food can they carry on themselves? So, so far I'm not seeing anything on here. Oh, 
Okay. So you're going someplace. Are you taking this to us? No, he's laying it up. You're taking it up to the cell. Okay, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to keep an eye on these and see what happens. Kind of the same thing on here because I want that wood. Okay. Uh, anyone here? Uh, your caravan. Your caravan. Oh, our caravans. Okay. Go ahead and do the rig, like the. Let's go ahead and start upgrading to like nicer beds. Um, we'll do a a double bed right there. Oh, here we go. Uh, this prevents keeping any produced resources. Uh, donate them. Uh, donate them what they need. Will give them a decent pay to buy themselves. Oh, can't afford construction. This organization does not have enough necessary funds to buy the services of a professional builder. Wait, funds? What do you mean? Do you not have enough? You have full gold. What do you mean? Required funds. Construct. Yeah, you're at the. Okay. Uh, sh sure. Does it just mean you don't have you don't have access to like planks and stuff? Is that what you're trying to say? Hmm. Okay. I want to take a look at this really quick. Um. Yeah. And. So we give them 60 silver each season. In turn, they, you will receive 100% of the production. So I guess maybe we just don't get into the end of the season is what I'm guessing. Okay. Uh, let's fix that. Oop, perfect. Okay, so that's good. Um, how much hay did they have? 13 hay? I mean straw. Okay. Uh, we can maybe use the straw. I mean, how much wood do you guys have? Actually, you don't really have any wood left. How do you not have any wood? You must have sold. We probably sold it all for these. Uh, we could, what we could do is maybe... What we could maybe do is go... The smaller saw this. Let's get rid of the trees. So, we'll go ahead and get rid of all of these because it's like. It's not like still the process of getting rid of that. Um, and then I'm going to make. I'm going to do this. We'll do this. Okay. we go bloop. And then we'll put a wooden door right there. And this will be our future warehouse. Perfect. I was just trying to do this so I can get, like, wood out of this. Because we have only 17, 19 wood. Uh, we need straw of anything so I give to them. Got some people coming in. Do you guys have straw I can maybe buy off of you? Probably not. With you. No. Is this oh that's wheat still? Okay. They could use they could definitely use some straw. But yeah, and this is gonna be kinda of mixed in with everything now since I decide just do one decided to do one giant area. 
Okay. Uh, they need a lot more in. Because maybe you might be better off just to do wooden walls instead, maybe for them. Instead of straw, because straw might be it might take a while for them to get straw. So we'll do that. Do do do. Go to the rear house, wherever it is. There it is. And we'll do this. Cool. And they need wood, so do they. Like, I'm trying to get wood for everybody. This is why I decided, like, change priority. Um, where is the rest of your family at? I assume one is selling stuff. One's in there. What are you up to? Putting on equipment. Okay. And cutting trees. Okay, cool. Okay, 36 wood there. Okay, I think we might be okay. Let's go ahead and actually get you maybe a regular bed. Like this. still need. Okay. So war taxes. So the war taxes, these are what we're gonna get. So we get 87 meat and 19 iron ore. Fantastic. So pretty soon we should be getting requests from the royal, for the royal taxes. Things that we're gonna need to send out. I need fast. I need fast forward to this. And tax day. Aha. Uh -huh. So I'm very curious to see what we're going to get out of these people. Hundred twenty straw, wow. So we should see straw inside here as well as probably barley? Actually, do you have it? Yeah, so we should get barley, I think. I'm kind of curious to see what we get out of, out of here. Okay, we're getting a lot of... Okay. Um, well, we got the, definitely got the wheat, so, cabbage, acorns, oh, here it is, yep, so he wants four gold from us, so what we could do, we do these optional deliveries, and the nice thing with these is that you will get favor points out of it, otherwise if you wanted to, you could just send stuff directly, um, like this, I could just send this to him directly. We'll get 50 points out of it, but it's only going to count to nine silver out of it. So we're going to just hit deliver. And with that, um, did I put down loading site? I thought I did. Okay, uh, we're going to put down loading site. And then they're going to come in and grab everything and head out and call it good. Eventually, they'll, they'll get to this. Get the planks, right? Yeah, we got planks. Too many trash piles. Huh. Yeah, that's, yeah, I can see why. Unfortunately, there's no way to say like, you know, please build this faster. So eventually, someone's gonna come and build this. Eventually, maybe tomorrow. Not now, tomorrow. Um, what I want to do, or is anyone sleeping? We could have them do this. And I can just, I could sell, sell this. So if we go back into warehouse, go down to trade, let's sell. 
these sticks, wherever they are, the rods, we'll just sell them. Eventually one of, a di one of our laborers will come and build this, maybe. Anytime now. Okay, where's the other guy? Where's the other, other one at? Okay, uh, you're selling stuff. You're moving things around? Discount to that. Okay. I am sorry. I. Yeah. Uh, you need wood for this. So let's take a look at you guys. Wrong one. Let me look at you. We can donate. Let's donate some wood to our architectures. Uh, I'm looking by 95 wood. How much wood do we have right now? We have 85. But let's donate. I mean, we have 85. Let's donate 70 to them. That would help get everything rolling. Yes, I know too many fast battles. Cool. So, never mind. Eventually, the zombies going to come. There we go. So now they're going to go ahead and grab everything um, and start putting stuff away. So, well, put stuff inside the loading site, and then there they go. They put it inside there, and they they are off. It's you, Latrude. And if we head into the villager backpack, I mean, not backpack, village, villager book, why did I say backpack? I don't know. Uh, we'll see that the delivering supplies to distant land and we turn in 1.9 days. So. And we do look at the diplomacy. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, sorry. We go in here. If we look at nobles, we can see people around us. This is a family we would like to start to trade with, and there are quests we could do to send stuff to them. Um, unfortunately, we don't have, like, ro okay, but we could buy rope. Only seven rope. How much is seven rope? I'm waiting to see if anyone's gonna get on here. There we go. Uh, you have rope I can buy? No, you don't. Dang. Okay. Well, let's see if, this peop if these people have anything. You don't either. Okay. Now, I don't know if I need to have a road connected to these people if I want to send them something. Oh, who's cancel? No, 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 don't send it yet. Okay, um, and then let's go ahead and we're gonna do a path in, around, like this. So let's go ahead and turn off selling of you. So you can come down here and start breaking on getting all this cleaned up. And then we can start putting stuff over here. Uh, yes, I know too many fast piles. So what we could do in the meantime... Um, We do maybe ground some ground repositories like that, and then small selves. Let's go ahead and throw like three of you inside here. Oops, I don't want small one or regular selves. Let's redo that. Uh, maybe a chest. Let's do like a chest. Do a cabinet. Um, bookcases. We'll do like two bookcases here. Uh, maybe do a barrel or two. Oh, barrel rails. 
Um, they like two of those. And then we'll do a few silos down here. Actually, we may want to build a few more of these just in case. We'll do two. We'll do the two down here. Okay, council, council. Uh, of course, we need a storefront, which we'll put right here off to the side. Actually, what we could do, let's cancel this. We'll do another storefront. Actually, this would be kind of a cool idea. We could put it right here. And if we go to walls, we can kind of like maybe do like a little cutoff. Like that. Okay, we're gonna cancel this. We put a door like right here. So essentially you have like kind of a, like a barrier before, you know, for people to come in and buy stuff, but they can't see the rest of everything. Even though they can technically still come in and do what they want. But that's how it probably would have actually be set up. Okay. Okay, that's all. Almost all built. We got two more left. Uh, you guys still need a roof too, actually. Let's go ahead and get you set up with this. Bloop. Are you guys actually going to... Oh, that's right. I want you guys to kind of focus on getting wood right now. You, you can hold off on planks, just get wood. Um, yeah, I think maybe with you, we can have you guys, let's just, yeah, we'll just the priority to the two, two, two for both of that. Okay. All right, so these are being built. Um, I don't think these are the ones I want. I want to do the, uh, these ones. I want the nice ones. Please put the nice ones down. And then, of course, we need a weapon rack. Uh, we'll put the weapon rack, let's say... Okay, we'll put it right there. Yes, I know we have too many trash piles. We're working on that right now. Ooh. There we go. And the grain and corn got delivered to the king. So now we go back to here. We satisfied nine silver of the four and almost a half gold requirement. You do have a year to get this. So until the fall of the following next year, we have that time to keep working on it. Uh, if you want, you can also send custom deliveries. Um, send what you want. So like if I wanted to send you know, 700 grain, you can see that's going to be oh, 700 grains, only 70 silver worth of of that stuff so um i guess that's the one thing with well from what i read if you do these types um like the steward uh, if you do this it's much easier to uh get the royal taxes done because you don't have to buy stuff from people you don't have to see stuff from people you just take it and you pay them for them pay them for that stuff so anyone else inside here Visitor, your caravan, caravan. Yeah, more caravans. Okay, it would be nice to get like somebody else in. Uh... Oh, so I don't think you guys ever did a, did a path, did you? No, you didn't. You also need a well. Do you have rocks? I do have rocks. How many rocks is this thing? Four? Okay. Let's go ahead and just donate this to you guys. Um, it's this one. Yeah. We can buy three rocks. There you go. Alright, mostly everything in here is done, which is awesome. Um...
Actually, I need to get you guys some barrels. I'll just put the barrels like right here. One here and maybe one. We do like another one up here, maybe. Actually, I saw some interesting like ideas of how to set this up. Um, like how to make like maybe a back counter. I might look at doing that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's do this. So I think if I uh, the smallest, get rid of you. I think we still have mostly everything in place now, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and we'll just demolish all of this stuff. And this will essentially force people to start moving stuff inside here. Didn't they have fireplace inside here? I think they do. Put a campfire inside here for you guys. I put it right here. The other thing, too, I keep forgetting about. Uh, let's do this really quick. We're going to go to Army. We're going to Day Guard. I'm going to remove one of you and put Night Guard inside here. Uh, so right now, I don't think it really does anything, but, you know, I guess it would be kind of nice to put that in there just, just for the time being. Okay, so they're going ahead and they're removing everything, breaking it all down. Yes, I know we have so many trust piles. And then they'll start moving everything down here, so... Just like that. I guess they'll probably work on... Well, some will probably work on the ground, I guess. And I might just put, like, a straw roof on here for the time being. I mean, because we don't need anything, like, fancy inside here. Okay, there we go. So now they're just going to... Start moving everything inside there. So let's... I'll wait to do the straw roof. Uh, until this is all cleaned up, so... But for the time being, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you, everyone, for joining me on this truck today. I had fun. I hope you did, too. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.